So excited! I absolutely hate today. Why is it that every time I go on a holiday, it goes severely wrong? I woke up at 3 a.m. with the most exciting notification anyone could want, a flight cancellation from Jetstar. So I tried to rebook my flight so I could get to the Gold Coast to see Harry Styles. No flights available. But there was one with Virgin, which was an additional $500. And I had to get it because I had no other choice. So I strutted off to the airport by myself. And this was the lineup for check-in. So that was really fun. It really made me feel good. And then a security guard yelled at me. And that just made me cry even more. So here I was in the airport having a little cry about the adventure that today would be. I got on my flight and the only one that was available was through Melbourne. So I had to do a 30-minute stop over there, which was stressing me out too. Because how am I meant to get from one gate to the other in half an hour? We did it. So I was waiting at the gate um, in Melbourne airport and... Ding! Another notification! Your flight's been cancelled. So here we go. This is the start of the fun. Today has to be up there for one of the worst days of my life. So when I got to Melbourne, I got to my gate and then the flight got cancelled again to the Gold Coast because they're having a massive power outage, so no flights can go in or out. So they said there's no available flight to get to the Gold Coast today. You can have a fly in tomorrow. I don't know how to break down. Then there was a f one seat available on a flight from Melbourne to Brisbane, but that was at night time. I'd have to catch the air train. But a miracle has saved me and I'm going to the Gold Coast. I absolutely hate today. Now I sat on this airport floor crying for 12 hours, constantly changing flights. They cancelled my flight six times and changed it. And I managed to get on a flight to the Gold Coast, then they cancelled it again. And then the flight opened up and it was full, but they managed to get me my seat back and they put me on Economy X, which I was very grateful for. The legends absolutely saved my life. Later, um, let's just say I'm really sick of planes. I don't particularly want to go on a plane again for a long time. And this has to be one of the most stressful days of my life. I thought that I would miss the concert. But anyway, here is me finally landing in the Gold Coast airport and got into an Uber, headed to the hotel, even though it was almost 10 o'clock at night. It is 9.30 p.m. and I just arrived at my hotel. Oh, I'm at the Meriton again. Let me show you the room. Oh, it's so nice. So, um, here's the door. Um, it's a little table here, there. Look at this bedroom. And the view is of the beach. Oh my God, I haven't seen this bathroom. Whoa, is this the shower? Oh, that's a wardrobe. Um, bathroom. Oh, nice shower. What is that? And I don't know if this is a balcony or not. It is! Ah! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Yay! <gasps> Look at that! Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah! I'm severely stressed. I feel like I've been hit by a truck and run over. But I want to move past it because we've got Harry Styles and I want to go in the pool. <sighs> but yeah, oh my god. Ah! Ah! So, I'm seeing the Harold Styles. I can't believe that I'm here. I've got early entry VIP. The official line starts at 8 a.m. But I'm probably going to get there. I'm thinking about 4 a.m. I don't know. Because I want to be front center barricade. I missed all of today. I missed buying merch. I miss all of the excitement of the day before the concert. Sleep is for the week. I'll sleep when I get back. I'm in a kitchen pod group chat and one of the girls was able to get me the merch that I wanted today. So I got um, the t-shirt ah! and I got the blue jumper. Harry's Isles. <laughs> but what I really want to do is I want to go for a swim. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check out the pool. Now, most of this video will be on my phone because I don't want to be carrying this camera around to the concert because it will get crushed and stolen and smashed to slitherines. This is where I've wanted to be all day. Oh, so the pool shots at 10 o'clock. <laughs> so I literally got five minutes in the pool. But you know what? I see some people down at the beach. So I'm going to go for a swim. Screw it. 
So I stupidly went down to the beach and went for a swim and then I got told off by the police because I didn't realize that you're not allowed to swim at the beach at night. So that little session lasted five minutes. Oh, I love my Harry jumper. I'm seeing you tomorrow, Harry. I'm seeing you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, how did I forget? I need to show you my signs. So first one, please sing fine line, starting a chance. Then I've got a little sentimental thing. I've got a little, it looks like a sunflower, but it's not. And a note, I need to practice throwing this on stage. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I don't wanna hit him, I want it to land perfectly on the stage. I don't know how close I'm gonna to be to him. That's the one. You know, I get one attempt at this throw, we need to make it a good throw. So, can you take a selfie? This is one that I'll hold up when he's doing like a really sentimental song. We're so proud of you. So excited for you to see my outfit tomorrow. Ah. I was gonna go for a walk around surface, but I really can't be bothered. It's 11.53, eh. It's a bit firmer than I was expecting. Oh my God, what a day, what a day, what a day. <laughs> Lesson of the day, don't ever ever fly Jetstar if you need to be somewhere important. I would be crying right now, but I have zero tears left in me. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. Like the fact that he is in surface paradise right now. Nah, I'm going for a walk. I need to find him. I need to find Paddy Styles. No, he's gonna be asleep. Be asleep. So yeah, tomorrow, early, early start. 3 a.m. wake up again. Oh, I'm gonna make myself sick. Oh my God. It is time for me to go to sleep. What I've done is I've actually reserved on the Uber app for someone to pick me up tomorrow at 4.15 a.m. so I can get to the stadium by 4.30 a.m. Because I've got nothing better to do, in all honesty. Um, don't tell the hotel, but I have no bag to take my stuff, so I'm taking the hairdryer bag. You know what time it is. It's time to get under the covers. Oh, nice and tight. <laughs> Good night, guys. Got to be up in three hours. See you then. Ooh. It's 3.50 a.m. and apparently 40 people are already there. We need to go. Here, we've got you girls who are coming from Adelaide. Yeah, I'm from Adelaide. Wow. I'm so excited. Okay, what if, I'm going to ask a question. What if Harry on the stage turned around and just looked at you and went and pulled you up? No. I would pass out. <laughs> really? And what about yourself? Um, Give us your favourite song as we're going to just take it to a break right now and take it out. <laughs> Kiwi. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sydney. Sydney. Adelaide. 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 Manham. Gold Coast. There we have it. And I'll tell you what now, girls, what are you expecting to get out of this? Um, fun. <laughs> Seeing Harry. Uh, hey, tell me. Give me a song. Come on. As it was. Let's go, Abby. In this world. It's just us. You know it's not the same as it was. As it was. It's just us. Your favourite too, Betty. What a coincidence. As it was. As it was. We will check in with you very, very soon. That's awesome. If you survive the morning. See you soon, Betty. But it's got a girls, how cool is it? Harry Styles is on the Gold Coast. <laughs> the biggest ever single act here on the Gold is taking place tonight. Never seen before. Uh, very close to the numbers of what Ed Sheeran had, but totally different. This is going to be cool. What are you looking forward to? Um, seeing Harry. Seeing him. Yeah. So just the whale like, spray. Why, why, okay, oh, yeah, I don't know yeah, what that means. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. Yeah. So you girls come from Sydney? Yeah, yeah all the way from Sydney. Yeah, wow. Okay. And, and you've seen, you've you've been on like a national stalker of Harry. That's okay. Yeah. It's going to be so cool. Now you guys are going to lead out with a song. What are you going to give me? I don't know if I could ever go without one sugar high. One sugar high. One sugar high. Sugar high. Oh, sugar high. Thank you. Thank you so much, we think. I'm um, just getting you up to speed. It's been a... This was one of the most longest and craziest experiences I've ever had. There was hundreds of us sitting in a line from 4 a.m. until 2 p.m. when they let us inside the sort of other area. 
it was boiling hot being in the Queensland sun for that many hours. I was worried I was gonna get a heat stroke, but everyone was really friendly and let us leave to get snacks and stuff. I'm dying of heat. Just brought a top. Far out, it's so hot. Once we got let into another area, there was a bit more shade, so I literally went and laid under a table for two hours and accidentally fell asleep. I had water dripping all over me from the water bottle tank, boiling with sweat, and then we started hearing Harry Styles do a sound check for cinema, so I ran and tried to listen to that. This was the moment we've all been waiting for. Will I get a barricade? Will I not? This was the moment of truth. Ah! I'm actually so scared. Oh my God.
and surrounding areas. How are you feeling tonight? My name is Harry. It's an absolute pleasure to be here to play for you tonight. Thank you so much for coming out to spend an evening with us. You look fantastic, every single one of you. Thank you. Our first night out since becoming parents. What are guys name? Someone was 18 over there. You turn 18 at midnight. Birthdays. 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 Your mum's birthday. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
As you can probably tell, I'm back home now. That was the most hectic two days that I've ever had in my life. You know, for that whole, that mess that it was, I had three hours sleep. First things first, I can't believe I managed to get barricade. When I rocked up to the stadium at four o'clock in the morning, there were, I was number 41 in line for the VIP early entry. 41! Like, I was expecting to be number one. That was amazing like i don't even know how to describe it because when i was there i kind of just went numb and i was like so starstruck that i just kind of froze every time i close my eyes i see his face and i can't believe that it was real like that was actually him because i it was just such a big build up to this concert like i was waiting for four years and then the day before the concert was like the worst day of my life and I had the most horrible day before that concert and it was such a stressful build up of am I even going to make it to this concert after waiting four years. Like I was stranded in an airport. Being up since 4am, being out in the boiling hot Queensland sun all day with no shade. Like I think I've got partial heat stroke from that. Like it's just a massive build up and when I saw him I just went numb. I was like what the heck, like this is actually happening. So yeah, I think I cried more before than what I did when I actually saw him. I thought I'd be more emotional, but I wasn't. But oh my gosh, he's beautiful. It was everything that I expected the concert to be. My only regret is that I didn't buy tickets for more states. I'm so glad that I got barricade. He didn't read any of my signs. I think he read the love heart one, but like I don't think he could actually see it because I could see him like squinting, but couldn't really read it. Made eye contact a few times. I got him to wave to me, but I wasn't recording it. So I don't care, but it's just implanted in my memory so I can see it. Even getting back from the stadium was even more of an... I spent more time getting back from the stadium than I did watching him perform. It took us three hours to get back to the hotel. As you probably saw from the videos, there was thousands of people. And because there were so many people, there was no reception. So I couldn't get an Uber. We waited in line for about two hours to get a bath. Like, the concert itself was fantastic. Like, everyone in the mosh pit was really respectful. They weren't pushing me. They weren't shoving. No one cut across in lines. Like, there was no dramas at all. Everyone was really well behaved and respectful. But before the concert, after the concert, nightmares. Um, but far out. Like, after all of this time, all of these years waiting, like, I finally have seen Harry Styles. And I don't actually believe it. <laughs> Um, if you want to see some more videos and stuff, check out my TikTok, Paris.Hedger, because I'm going to be posting heaps of stuff there as well, some little edits of Harry Styles. I feel numb. Like, I genuinely feel numb. Like, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. Um, but thank you for watching. If you were there, I hope you had a good time. If you didn't get to go to his concert, I hope that you get the chance in the future, and I hope he comes back. Just don't do what I did, and I hope you have better luck than me. Okay. Bye.